Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org, and they have an article on what are soil pH tests and why are they important. Well, you need to understand that plants, of course, need many nutrients to survive, but they can only uptake those nutrients if the surrounding soil is at a certain level of pH, which is the measurement of alkalinity or acidity in the soil. Now I'm just going to go over to Select Tech's website, Soil Testing, Measurement of Soil pH. Now this chart here shows you the different levels of pH in which nutrients are absorbed. The thicker the bar is, like here in nitrogen, the middle point between 6.5 and 7, that's the optimum point for most plants to uptake nitrogen. Whereas zinc down here at the bottom, it requires almost all acidic because in the alkaline side, doesn't absorb very much. So it's important to know where your soil pH is in relation to what plants you're trying to grow. And on this site, of course, I'll link it in the description. It has all sorts of different, like look at artichoke requires between 6.5 slightly acidic and 7.5 slightly basic. But asparagus has an even wider range than that, 6.0 to 8.0. Now, that's just ideal pH. So the key, though, is to get as much organic matter as possible into your soil, and it will create little pockets of pH throughout it, which will help the plant have the available nutrients that it needs to survive. But this article goes into what are soil pH testing kits, where to get them, and what to do with them. So I'm going to link to this as well as the chart uh, page here at Select Tech's website. That will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.